What's up guys, Dr. Fluster here. I build, I score, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail. This is Newcastle. Now, everyone knows that Newcastle have had a ton of informed players. I've got most of them. I don't have any second informs, which I'm quite annoyed about. And we all know Inform Goodbye was released today and will be out in packs at, what, 6 or 7 p.m.? Uh, so, let's get this going. Uh, played in a 4 4 one one formation as I thought uh, I liked it I wanted four at the back and four in midfield but I didn't want two up front I wanted one to sit behind the other obviously Alan Pardew as manager uh, inform Tim Krull uh, can't say much about him he's had probably about 17 clean sheets with me I've had a lot of fun with him I've also got him in another team uh, he's a uh, all round he's one of the better informs that came from a non rare goalie uh, like Al Habsi or was a silver I think and then got made a gold with it or it was gold but not rare and now he's in form and stuff like that he's <clears throat> he's one of those players where <clears throat> he just works sorry about the coffin uh, in centre back first centre back I'm going to show will be Taylor uh, this is Stephen Taylor um, he's good he's <clears throat> very good if Colaccini pushes up too far he's there to sit behind if you know what I mean um, but he's an all round good player he's not got the, the most pace on him but it's alright obviously as you saw before in form Colaccini uh, he's, good, he's a good player 70 pace <clears throat> uh, 84 defending 88 heading in the box he is a tank when it comes to corners he can just tell you to piss off by headering it out uh, right back Danny Simpson now, I know, I know what you're thinking. There's a silver player that you could have got there, Lewis. But why haven't you got him? Ah. Uh, that would be because they made his inform a left back. Which is where Ryan Taylor now plays. Um, as a whole, the defence and the goalie, they work very well. Um, there's not much fault with them. Apart from the fact that these two are non-rare. Could be a little bit better. But, oh, well, we're going to do the pretty... Pretty good anyway. Uh, left mid, inform Gutierrez. Uh, sometimes his 81 pace, I, I feel, is a lie. I don't feel like he's got 81 pace. I think he's got something like 77. <laughs> he's probably got the same amount of pace as Stephen Taylor, which is 63. Um, it doesn't feel... He don't feel fast. For an 81 pace player, we all know what 81 pace players are like. He doesn't feel like one of those. But apart from that, he's a good, good, uh, good all-round player. Uh, next to him, I have Teote. Um, <clears throat> these two work very well together. Uh, they can do one twos if, because uh, if Gutierrez drops back into defend, um, Teote will stay on the halfway line. I can play it to Teote, and then he'll do a, uh, a through ball back towards uh, Gutierrez. Uh, as you saw, obviously Kabai. Now, normally you'd think I'd maybe do like a four one two one two formation and have. Um, Kabai is a centre defensive midfield, but in <clears throat> in the it, as a centre midfield, he just sits on the halfway line most of the time. That's his defending kicking in right there. Uh, it's nice that um, to have him there as well because Colaccini gets the ball, he can pass it to Kabai. Kabai can either pass it to Teote to line up Gutierrez, or he can then play it through to first inform Ben Arthur. I'm going to lose so much money on this team. Um, Two players have been re-released as informs, and one's about to. Uh, ben Arthur, I don't know. I'm not a, a massive fan. I didn't feel like I bought him for 109k open bid. I didn't feel that he performed as well as he does for everyone else, if you know what I mean. I'm wondering if he's better in maybe a 4-3-3 formation um, as a right winger compared to a right mid, because problem with him is he drops back into defend a little bit too much. Like I'll be running up the pitch with Kabai and I'll be looking for Ben Arthur and he's behind me. It's so annoying. I'll just be sitting there going, why are you behind me? But oh well. Um, but he's, an, he's all round a good player. Um, obviously centre forward. Denver Barr. Now, I've seen people play him up front. I've seen uh, as a striker and uh, the other guy, Pape Cisse, as a centre forward. But I liked it as this way because it was a case of um, Kabai Teote um, give the ball to Demba Bar. Demba Bar then plays it to 
our first informed Pape Cisse, who then just plays it back to Denver Bar and Denver Bar scores. You'll see in one of their games, Denver Bar just dominates. These two guys in the air, these guys are, even though their heading is 80 and 82, it's not <clears throat> as good as some others, but they're, they're what? What's, what's Cisse? He's six foot, and Denver Bar is six foot two. They're amazing. I love them. <laughs> they're, they're one of the, the best Senegalese, I want to say. Senegal, yep, Senegalese. They're, they're two of the best Senegalese players I've ever seen. Um, I, it's them, Ben Arthur, Teote, Kabai, Tim Krul, Stephen Taylor, Colaccini, and Guzdiaris that's got Newcastle to fourth place. And if I'm not mistaken, I personally think they're Champs League material. If you don't think they're Champions League material, you have not been watching the Premier League this year. They are by far in the Champions League next year. No doubt about it. Um, so let's get on with some goals. Right, goal time. Um, goodbye with a nice little left foot, weak foot there. His uh, strongest foot is his right because he's got the finesse trait as well. Um, uh, rating for this team will be four and a half star like they are with the bench that I play. They're four and a half star. Um, as you can see how I went for a bit of a skill. Gets the nice cross in and the nice 180 turn volley by Barr. Um, I enjoy playing with this team a lot. Like, they're one of the teams that if you play with them, they're a lot of fun and you can have fun with them without having to go on head to head and play against the little sweaty bastards. Um, uh, as you can see here, Demba Barr just showing his physical presence in the air. You may notice I'm playing in a Watford kit, that is my hometown. Um, but yeah, overall, they're just a good team. This guy I dominated. I felt so sorry for him as well, but I had to. Bar was on his hat trick, and that was a Rabona from Cisse. <laughs> had to be done. But um, they're a good fan. Mistake here. Demba Bar latching onto it. Lovely finesse into the bottom right hand corner. 4 1 win. All Demba Bar goal. I mean, when you want to play with a team on head to head, You've then got to be put up against a team that's similar. So if you're like a four-star team, you might get up with like Bolton and stuff like that. But with this, you get put up against like four and a half stars, but it's a different mix of players. You're playing with one whole team, and they're playing with people that could be better than you, could be worse than you. And you can still beat them half the time. Um, but I mean, I had a lot of fun. Most of the goals are with Cissé and Denver Bar, to be fair. But the full team effort, if you know what I mean. Like... All your back four are there when needed, if you know what I mean. Like, if you if you need them, they're there to win balls. And Denver Bar, as you can see, look, physical presence in the air. He's there to, to win headers. He's only, he's six foot two. He's there to win a header and nod it in. But but yeah, four and a half star team. Um, fun rating is max. I love playing with this team. That was a one-all draw. Demba Bar, nice little poke. Um, all around, uh, generally a, a brilliant team to play with. Like, if you want to make a team, get this team. This one cost me 309k in total, but since there's been uh, two more informs out, which is 84 Cisse and 84 Ben Arthur, there will also be an 84 Kabai out tonight. Prices are going to drop majorly, so you'll be able to pick them up for quite cheap. Like my Denver Bar, no, not my Denver Bar, my Ben Arthur's up for 78k at the minute as the cheapest one up. Gutierrez is up, uh, Kabai is up as well. They're all as the cheapest, all my informs are up as cheapest. Uh, ones that have sold uh, were Ryan Taylor and Tim Krull. Uh, but yeah. Go make this team. They're insane. I'd love them to pieces. Nice little smash there from Bar to make it a 3-1 win. That's the last clip of this. Um, 
leave a rating and a comment on what you think about this team. But I've, I've enjoyed it, so I hope you do the next one as well. Peace.